Hi friends, new and old, it's your friend Chip, and today we're gonna wander around Target. Right now we're in the like dollary type section in the front, looking at some of the weird little odds and ends that they throw in this section. Ooh, some kind of fidgety toy where you just kind of get the ball through the loop. We got a bunch of these fun packs. Some Halloween stuff. There's so many people in this store today. Ooh. All kinds of goodies. Look at this. It's a puzzle in a test tube. And look at all the Pokemon cards. I remember when there were no Pokemon cards at all. Empty. Zip. Now there's a whole bunch of them. I remember collecting those as a kid. And eventually I just couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> and I never played the game, I just collected them. We got Magic. Yu-Gi-Oh! I did collect Yu-Gi-Oh! and I did play the game. You know, all kinds of little blind bags. Look at this Sailor Moon. It's not Sailor Moon, but you know, Sailor Moon. Uh, they got a whole bunch of Sanitizers, Bob's Burgers. Love that show. Some sports cards and ooh, things. I think there's like a little stuffed animal inside this. Lord of the Rings. What cat do you want? Squishmallows have cards. And there's a little cop thing. They have a Gutama and Disney ones. Like slap bracelets with a stuffed animal on it. I do really like these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Danglers. Super cool. And I really wanted the Dark Magician or the Dark Magician Girl. We did open it. It's a short on the channel. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. All kinds of art supplies. And they do have a My Little Pony coloring book. I love these colored pencils. So as a child, it was always difficult to find the correct colored pencil to color in people. You only had two, brown and peach. And so it's so nice to see that you have a wide range of literally just skin tones, which everybody can You know, a lot of glue, all kinds of wooden things to paint. I didn't realize that was a big thing. Remember at the Dollar Tree? We saw a lot of that too. I'm just like, who's painting wood things all the time? All kinds of little art craft kits and science kits. I loved these things as a kid. Doodle mat. And they got some uh, diamond paintings. Oh, I've done one. I've done a couple of them, and they're rough. Look at all these different little ceramic things. I like painting ceramics. Well, as long as it's made out of ceramic, people are painting it. But if it's made out of wood, why are people painting it? <laughs> 
They had all kinds of Halloween themed crafts to paint, a little pumpkin. And this is like a little pumpkin carriage or house. Then I had more of them. And then this little thing, it's like a cross stitch embroidery thing of a bug. They have a whole bunch of Prismacolor. I remember when this wasn't like in normal stores. You had to go to like an art store to get it. And this was always the colored pencils they used in high school and college. Didn't matter. It was always, if you were using a colored pencil, it was a Prismacolor. all different kinds and they got markers now look at these markers these little pens for comics and manga cool little pillows Jeez, people in here now we're finally in like where the Disney store lives inside of the Target. But honestly, it's it's just Target's Disney section because there is no way you would walk into a Disney store and see how messy this place is all the time. All the time. This Disney section, complete disaster. What are those Jigglypuff? That Snorlax and a Pokeball. Oh, the Jiggly Puff is really cute. Some Disney plushies. Now a whole bunch of like Buzz Lightyear stuff. Some random Mario. Here's your Star Wars section. They even have the Star Wars movies over here. One of the circular thing, full of random odds and ends. You never know what you're gonna pull out of here. You know, it's all flounder. Mickey and Minnie. Minnie's got her whole section. We got a whole bunch of stuff now. Little, uh, it's the new Alice in Wonderland kids show. The toys look really cute for it. A lot of plushies. Oh, this giant castle thing. It's just in the way. All kinds of outfits for dress up. Little Lego Disney stuff. Bluey, a whole bunch of stuff for Bluey. And this is Frozen still has its own section. I mean, how many years ago it was Frozen? And they still have their own section. I like this one with their mom and dad. These boots, they're pretty cool. They wouldn't be just for dress up. Like, you would want to wear those on the bow. All kinds of little kid toys. And Raya and the Last Dragon. I watched it one time. I can't remember it, and I only remember it when I see that section of toys at the toy store because it's never gone. It's always there. I like these little mini animator sets. Here's some Disney princess. These are really cute. I have an aerial one.
I look at this Little Mermaid set every time. I don't know how many times I've looked at it, put it in my cart, and put it back. <laughs> it's just that one thing that you're like, mm, one day. I got some Proud Family stuff. There's some of that Alice stuff. Look at them. They look so good. More light here stuff. Here's some more of those little animator houses and stuff. Look at that giant Rapunzel. I don't think I could ever have one of those life-size Barbie dolls or something. I think it'd scare the crap out of me wake up in the middle of the night instead of standing there. No, Ariel. There's some other doll sets. Just single Disney princess. There we go. There's just so many people in the store. For some reason, everybody woke up today and said, I gotta go to Target. What are we gonna do? We're gonna spend hours just wandering around Target today. Look at them all. There's a whole bunch of kinetic sand. Now we can look at all the different kinds of Barbies they have. I like the ones that come with different little sets, like the ice cream and the cooking and the animal care and different things like that. I always thought they were nice. And I love the wide variety of options you have with Barbie now, which we never had as kids. Holiday Barbie. She's been spotted. They just have so many different hairstyles and faces and body types now. Look at this one. She's really going through it. They got some squishmallows and they got this little angler fish. Adorables and mini brands. Ooh, we're gonna get one of these foodie mini brands. I love watching people open the foodie mini brands. I can sit there for hours watching mini brand people. All the rainbow high. Huge section. Look at that giant one. Ooh, she's scary looking. All kinds of Polly Pockets and LOL surprise. I I am so surprised. Years later, it's still kicking. And it is strong. And look at how many different products they have now. I remember when people were running around Target trying to find one. When I bought my very first one, I ended up getting the last one in the store. And there was a lady that was like, oh, where did you find that? I was like, oh, I just randomly found it. I think it may be like the last one in the store. And she's like, oh, she's so upset. And I felt bad. I still feel bad to this day. Like that lady needed that LOL doll. And I just kept it in my cart. I love these Harry Potter dolls. We're gonna open some of those soon. I don't know this show, but the dolls are super cute. Look at the My Little Pony section, it's so small. They don't have too much. They got that Maritime Bay set, the new Sunny Alicorn style ribbon hair. Ooh, they got an Ursula Real Littles backpack. Never bought one of these before, but we're gonna try this one out. 
Because it's Ursula. I love the Care Bears. Oh. These new plushies are super cute. They're super soft. And they all have different faces. And some of them have different body types and heights and stuff. They're just so cute. I love this super, super star bear. We're going to add him to the collection. Grumpy Bear is my favorite Care Bear. Who's your favorite Care Bear? If you've made it this far into the toy hunt, put in the comments, who's your favorite Care Bear? My favorite Christmas movie is the Care Bears Nutcracker. If you haven't seen it and you're a Care Bears fan, you need to watch it. It's absolutely amazing. I watch it every Christmas. Look at all these different little blind bag stuff. I like those little acorn ones. I'm thinking about open one. They got all these different, like, older uh, Halloween and different character plushies from movies and stuff. Look at the Elvira one. We're going to pick that up in a minute. All different horror villains in action figures and plushies. Look at that scream and just poke it out. Look at these Ninja Turtles. What is this? If you know what that is, tell me in the comments because I don't know. This Elvira box was much better in the box form. But look at what you get in it. You get a hat, a shirt, a weird action figure, a pin, and a patch. And this thing was like, look at that, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for that. I thought, no, it's not worth it for what you get inside. But it's really cool, and I am an Elvira fan. This is a pretty cool Predator box. More Squishmallows. At least they have them at this Target. All kinds of little kits. And then these little... Oh, Magic Mixies. These purses with eyeballs on them, I think they're creepy. Have you seen the commercial for it? No. We leave those on the shelf. They do have Squirkies and those other little things, but they didn't have any of the mystery Squirkies. They were just the ones that were revealed. There's the cat. There's our chameleon. They did have the three packs, and we had a three pack uh, that we opened. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. They're super cool fidgets. I absolutely love those. So far, my favorite one has been the Cheeky Monkey. Well, and the Chameleon. Army stuff, Rainbow High. And down into the Lego section. Got some cool Harry Potter ones. This button. Mm. I love all the Harry Potter ones, and if I had the space to build them and leave them displayed, I'd have a little Harry Potter Lego village. But I just don't have the space for it. Legos are so dang expensive. That's rich people toys sometimes. I love the retro toy section, but I don't see my little pony in there very often. I do like these little building Pokemon Mega Block sets. Look at this little. It's an advent calendar for Pokemon, Pokemon cards. Bringing the holidays with Pokemon. Getting the holiday spirit with a Pokemon present every day from your favorites like Pikachu and Lapras to seasonal Pokemon like Delibird. You'll find a holiday. Well, we ran out of time. And it comes with some foil promo cards and coins and sticker sheets and a dangler and some packs of Pokemon cards. I don't collect Pokemon cards anymore. 
<clears throat> so I really don't think I would enjoy that. But it's a really cool one for somebody who does collect Pokemon cards. I like these little figures. These little Eeveelution ones and the Lucario. I love the Pet Pop. Uh, Funko Pop. I like all these Masters of the Universe and He-Man ones that they got. He's, oh, he's cool. I used to get all the Jurassic Park stuff. When Jurassic Park first came out, I had a Triceratops who a chunk of her side would come out. She went into a lot of battles, lost a chunk of her side every time. I love this running Pikachu, but they have a Gyarados one and I want that one. All kinds of Nintendo ones. That dragon's very cool. Look, Animal Crossing. The Stranger Things. Lots of board games. Now we're in the books. Look, My Little Pony. Another My Little Pony. And another one. We totally got this one because it's Halloween and it's Twilight Sparkle. Look, like another one. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. This is like the collectible section over next to the electronics. They got an action figure for everything. Things I never even knew had toys. They're really super messy. Seven Deadly Sins. Really cool show. Didn't know they had an action figure. Woo, messy. All the different things they have in the gaming section. And look, we spotted them for the first time in real life Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. And nobody cares. Not no more. Now we're taking a look at the Halloween stuff. They got all kinds of Halloween snacks. Really delicious animal cracker cookies. And candy, any kind of candy you want. Pillsbury showed up with a pumpkin cake. Strawberry filled kisses. Mm. All the different kinds of candy. At Halloween time, it's a Reese's pumpkin. That's the candy that matters. I mean, it's just aisle after aisle of different kinds of candies. What's your favorite Halloween candy? If you've made it this far into the toy hunt, tell me in the comments what's your favorite Halloween candy. What's the one that you wait for all year long? And do you have anything that you like to hand out special? Like are you a big candy bar house? Are you, do you need little treat bags that you hand out? Or you hand out apples? What kind of things do you like to hand out? I always enjoyed getting the treat bags. They were my favorite. They're still putting stuff out. Working around the workers and working around all the people in there too. Those poor people trying to put all that stuff out and they got people just running all over through it. They're always different. I bet half of this stuff tastes horrible. But they're really cool. A skull, uh, hot chocolate bomb. Look at this nasty slime punch. So I think I saw this girl on TikTok make that slime punch. Nasty. Nasty. One of those little brain uh, hot chocolate bombs, I think. Eyeballs in a jar. Pretzel sticks. 
This is that hot chocolate bomb that looks like a skull. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. It tastes horrible. You have to get a Reese Pumpkin. Have to. Reese Pumpkin is the best shape of Reese's. We got some Halloween stuff out here. Lots of buckets and paper plates. Look, even Christmas is creeping in. Trying to shine that Christmas light. This whole section was crocheted. Look at this crocheted skeleton. I like him. I kind of like. I don't know what. Uh, I don't think I'd hang him somewhere. I think I'd just have him sit on the couch. He's cool. And they have this black branchy stuff. Look at these plants. A creepy gnome. A giant inflatable. That'd be cool if you had like a bunch of trick or treaters coming to your house. <clears throat> Green stones. All kinds of hangy dangly people. Look at these skeletons. Whew. little things that do stuff. The section was really full of people. There's a skeleton on a bike. Where's he going? Look at these two. Doop, doop, doop. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Click the notification bell so you never miss the next one. And if we aren't friends yet, click the subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, bye.